Dear learners, welcome to this course on commercial fruit production of pomegranate and guava. I am Dr. Madhuri Sonavne and I am your instructor for this course. In this course, we will study the entire fruit production technology of two major fruit crops that is pomegranate and guava. Guava is the most popularly grown fruit crop all over India due to its hardiness, profuse yields and wide adaptability. Guava fruit is rich in vitamins, minerals and mainly carbohydrates. It is available throughout the year and it is called as poor man's fruit. Pomegranate is another important fruit crop which is grown in various parts of the country and Maharashtra is the major pomegranate growing state. Pomegranate fruit is also highly nutritive and it is rich in antioxidants. It is considered as super fruit and it is used as remedy for several human diseases. This is the reason why there is an ever increasing demand for these two fruits in the market. These fruit crops are fetching good economic returns to the farmers. Especially pomegranate is having high export potential. Considering such importance, many farmers are coming up for commercial cultivation of these two fruit crops. While cultivating these two fruit crops in a traditional way, farmers are facing various problems like unavailability of quality planting material, lack of knowledge of improved techniques, occurrence of pests and diseases, as well as lack of knowledge of managing these pests and diseases. For example, in guava, fruit fly infestation and diseases like wilt and anthracnose are major threats. In pomegranate, anar caterpillar infestation, oily spot infestation, fruit cracking are the serious problems. Oily spot is the serious threat and hindrance in pomegranate cultivation. All these problems are forcing farmers to quit the commercial cultivation of these two fruit crops. Under such situation, to ensure the increased production and quality produce, it is now the need of the hour to train the farmers, to educate the farmers in the improved and innovative production technologies like high density plantation, ultra high density plantation, canopy management, integrated nutrient management, water management, as well as pest and disease management. With this view, I have come up with a course for you. This course is designed for any farmer, any learner who has passed the 12th standard or who has appeared for the 12th standard examination. The major aim of this course is to help the farmer in updating the traditional way of farming with improved skills and techniques. Also, to educate the farmers, farm women, rural youth, farm laborers in the latest farming technologies. This is a four week course with one credit and 12 modules. Learners are expected to engage themselves three to four hours a week. The present course will include in all 12 modules. Eight modules are independent video lectures by eminent experts in the field and four modules will include assignments and quizzes. Out of the eight video lecture modules, initial four modules will discuss the pomegranate production technology. The first module will cover various aspects like economic and nutritional importance of pomegranate, important varieties, their description, as well as soil and climatic requirements of pomegranate crop. In the second module, we will study the propagation methods, planting time and spacing required for pomegranate plantation, as well as high density plantation along with training and pruning practices will also be the part of this module. Third module is devoted to the pests, diseases and disorders of pomegranate. It will discuss detailed information about occurrence of major pests, their nature of damage and control measures. In addition, various diseases, their causal organisms, symptoms, control measures as well as disorders will be studied in this module. In fourth module, emphasis will be given on water 
and fertilizer requirement of pomegranate as well as flowering bahar treatment maturity indices and harvesting of fruits next four modules will cover guava fruit production technology the fifth module will cover various aspects like economic and nutritional importance of guava important varieties their description as well as soil and climatic requirement of guava crop in the sixth module we will study the propagation methods planting time and spacing required for guava plantation high density and ultra high density plantation along with training and pruning practices will also be the part of this module seventh module will discuss detailed information about occurrence of major pest their nature of damage and control measures various diseases their causal organisms symptoms and control measures as well as disorders like bronzing will also be studied in this module the eighth module will cover water and fertilizer requirement of guava bahar treatment flowering as well as maturity indices and harvesting of guava fruits in all four modules will be of learners assessment here learners will have to solve short and long answer questions followed by quizzes and assignments in addition the learner will be provided with the text material web references and e content and at the end there will be a proctor examination after completing this course learner will be able to identify and describe various techniques package of practices in pomegranate production as well as in guava production and i am sure some of the learners will make up their minds to apply these techniques in their own fields dear learners i hope you will enjoy the online learning on pomegranate and guava production technology i wish you all the best and thank you